According to the NFL, about 175 concussions occur league-wide each season, which equates to roughly one for every other game, including preseason and postseason. A Journal of Athletic Training study reveals that 300,000 sports-related concussions occur each year in the U.S. As Congress examines the issue of concussions in the NFL, NCAA, and high school sports, parents are reminded of how serious the injury really is. Now joining us this morning is Seattle Seahawks fullback Owen Schmidt and Dr. Rashid Padwarden on the country's leading, one of the country's leading neurosurgeons. And let's start off uh, with some basic and most important question here. What is a concussion and how, would, uh, how does this occur? Well, very important question, actually, and, and there's a big misconception about what a concussion is. It does not have to involve someone completely blanking out or losing consciousness and coming back. It actually can be something as simple as someone's just not quite acting him or herself. And I think that's something that coaches need to be very vigilant about. When a player comes out, isn't quite right, they need to sit that player out. Gotcha. Well, Owen, uh, now you're pretty susceptible to concussions on a regular basis yourself. How do you protect yourself on the field? What can we tell some of our high school uh, uh, players that we have down here in the South, which football's a bit, it's a big thing? Yeah, you know, I would take, uh, you know, precautionary measures as far as, you know, strengthening the neck, wearing the proper protective gear. Uh, you know, these uh, there's some uh, dual technology uh, mouth guards out that I've been wearing since high school that really helps out um, and you know just o overall technique you know these coaches you know have to be teaching proper fundamentals as well and uh, th you know those are things that kids can can do you know you can practice tackling you know at, at your house if you wanted you know stuff like that needs to be taught uh, you know properly so these kids know what's going on great thank you Owen and, and Dr. Pardwan, and, uh how as parents and leaders of these kids that are playing out on the field how do we recognize a concussion when it happens? You know, I, th I think uh, what we discussed earlier, which is just some sort of alteration of consciousness is very, very important. And as far as, you know, we're not going to change the game, but we are going to make people safe who play the game. We're going to make the kids safe. And I think one of those things that Owen attested to was, yes, you have the helmets, you have the pads, you have lots of things. And the mouth guard, I think, is worth mentioning. It's a uh, brain pad as the company that puts it out. And I think you've got an example of, of that, which is a, a dual arch uh, kind of a device. And what that does is it protects the lower jaw from going up and hitting the base of the skull and causing a concussion. So I think all of these steps, oh, and worth mentioning, has never had a concussion in his storied career, high school, college, or, or NFL, which I think is pretty remarkable. Yeah, that is pretty remarkable, especially with football being such a high-contact sport there. And, and you, we read, talked about the numbers earlier, so many of those coming out. Now, so we know to protect ourselves. We know a little bit about what to look for. Uh, what happens if our, if our child or a player really does uh, get a con uh, concussion? What happens then? What should we do as parents or as leaders? Well, you know, as a neurosurgeon, I'm a little biased because I see kind of the worst of the worst. So I think it's worthwhile, even though it may seem like overkill, if, if a kid is not acting just right, it may be worth a trip to the uh, emergency room just to get an imaging scan, like a CAT scan, to rule out. Because there's no way to tell from outside they don't have a little bruise on their brain or something more severe than just what they look like. Very important stuff. Thank you so much, Owen uh, Schmidt and Dr. Rashid Parwardin. Thank you again so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you.